Hello, viewers. Thank you for visiting our channel again. Today, we are going to talk about an interesting topic, and that topic is a great person who has a deep comprehension of the worth of everything he encounters. Because of his efforts, we gain important new perspectives on the significance of reducing our environmental impact and recycling materials. We are discussing Mike, who is widely known by the nickname The Scavenger. As a result, we ask that you remain with us until the very end, as we explore his universe. But before we get started, I just wanted to make sure that anyone who has just stumbled upon our channel would take a moment to consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that they can always be on the cutting edge of what we have to offer. Your support means a great deal to us, and it inspires us to keep bringing you stories about fascinating people who are doing incredible things. Let's get started on the video right now. Mike always begins his day with a satisfying cup of coffee, which provides him with the energy he needs for his foraging journeys across the neighborhood. He does this as a full-time job, and he has found that the things that other people throw out actually have an astonishing amount of worth in them. When he goes scavenging, he finds a wide variety of things, ranging from nuts and bolts to speaker systems and even antique items that have been discarded for no reason. He is able to make these goods, which are currently useless, into ones that are extremely valuable with only a small bit of work. Mike is a pleasant and hardworking person who spends his days meeting new people and cleaning up the objects that they have thrown, all in the interest of turning garbage into profit. In Texas, where he has become a well-known character within the community, you will frequently see him while you are driving across the state. At the age of 38, he has been an inspiration to an innumerable number of individuals, leading them to recognize the value of recycling and the value of every object they see. Mike signed up for a YouTube account on July 28, 2018, but submitted his first video roughly three years ago. Since that time, he has kept up a steady pace of uploading new videos and frequently engages in conversation with his audience. The majority of his viewers are people in their 20 seconds and come from the United States, which is a testament to the passion he has shown for his work. During the warm summer months, he also demonstrates the state of the riverbeds, drawing attention to the chaos that is generated by tangled fishing lines and coral. The amount of mess that needs to be cleaned up is shocking, and Mike's efforts are making a big difference in the overall situation. You might be wondering, given this information, how a successful business might be built from it. It seems like Mike has uncovered a business opportunity that will be profitable for him. He has managed to generate a following of roughly 394,000 subscribers and generates a respectable income from garage sales. He also has a fair following. His channel brings in somewhere in the neighborhood of $600 every day, which results in monthly profits of between $15,000 and $17,000. And that's just from the advertising revenue generated by his channel. Mike the Scavenger has amassed a net worth of $640,000 only as a result of his channel as of right now, and there is the possibility that it will increase even further. In spite of the fact that he is notoriously private online, he has achieved notoriety among the international community of trash divers, scrappers, and scavengers. His posts almost always contain something unexpected, which opens our eyes to the ease with which some individuals get rid of important things without giving them a second thought. One of his most remarkable experiences was when he discovered a wallet submerged in water that had iPhones and Ray-Bans that were all in working order. Scavenging is often full of thrilling surprises like this one, which is one of the reasons why so many people enjoy doing it. You can be sure that he will investigate the proprietor and report back with any discoveries. If you haven't come across Mike's channel yet, we strongly suggest that you do so right away. In order to make things easier for you, a link has been put in the description box. His videos are not only amusing but also instructive and good for the environment. 